Cleveland office market closed the fourth quarter of 2013, over 400,000 square feet of positive absorption. Downtown accounted for 250,000 square feet, while the suburbs attracted over 150,000 square feet. Two of the big stories for 2013 uh, happened downtown with the new e &Y Tower, with over 130,000 square feet of new tenants which were attracted to the property. The other notable development project downtown is the redevelopment of the former Ameritrust Tower at the corner of Euclid Avenue and East 9th Street by the Geist Companies. This $250 million redevelopment project in the future home of the Cuyahoga County Administrative Offices, a new hotel and apartments, as well as a grocery store. For 2013, the Columbus office market experienced nearly 700,000 square feet of positive absorption. We expect this trend to continue throughout 2014. We also delivered 500,000 square feet of new office space and have 700,000 square feet under construction. 2013 ended on a positive note here in the Greater Cincinnati office market. We did see quite a bit of tightening up in the large blocks of space in the suburbs. The Class B market in downtown continues to be the most competitive with vacancy rates trending in the low teens. Uh, there was a slight dip in the absorption uh, for the overall market, but it wasn't enough to cause a whole lot of concern here. Uh, most of the activity did uh, involve companies uh, or uh, organizations in the medical industries, uh, the, uh, the data industries, and the marketing and advertising industries as well. The office market in Ohio ended the year on a good note producing 180,000 square feet of positive absorption in the fourth quarter. Cincinnati fell slightly, showing 43,000 square feet of negative absorption, but the rest of the markets produced positive absorption, with Cleveland at 118,000 square feet, Columbus at 95,000 square feet, and Dayton at 10,000 square feet. Currently, the office vacancy rate in Ohio sits at 13.9% for all the markets that we track. Year-to-date, we have recorded over 2.2 million square feet of positive absorption, an impressive figure for the office market as employment continues to improve. For 2014, Colliers Ohio is expecting a gradual improvement in the office sector as more and more people are put back to work. We are monitoring employment levels across the state as well as the effects of Obamacare and the federal government's QE3 tapering, all of which will have an impact on commercial real estate and the office market in the coming years.